Hi folks, Jobin here. This is a video I've been wanting to do for a while. And it's about Swiss Army knives. For many people, myself included, if somebody says pocket knife, this is probably the first thing that pops into your mind. It would probably be pretty hard to find a knife or a type of knife that is so recognized the world over and is so accepted as a tool rather than a weapon. They aren't even remotely tactical, they are instead practical. They have blades to be sure, and pretty good ones, but they also have an assortment of other tools uh, for your everyday tasks. You got your uh, screwdrivers and your reamers and your bottle openers and all that other good stuff. What, one of some of my earliest memories are of a Swiss Army knife, actually. Um, my brother had I don't know what model it was, I'm not even sure which company made it, but he had, he had a fairly bulky Swiss Army knife with a big old hawkbill blade on it. And um, he used to do a lot of electronic projects back in the day, and he'd use the hawkbill blade to like uh, split open wire casings to uh, you know, wire stuff up. And I remember being little and pestering my parents and begging them to let me have a knife of my own. And I think they originally said I could get one when I was 10, but I might have bugged them so much they uh, eventually relented and let me get one a little earlier. And this was, uh, this was it. This was my first real knife um, in the uh, leather case that they got with it for me. A little sharpening steel. And it was a Victorinox Tinker which I've had for about two decades now and it's held up pretty well and it just so happens that fairly recently I acquired the rest of the Tinker family because there's actually sort of a line of them there's three I know of there's the two Tinker the Super Tinker and the Tinker Deluxe so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little look at these knives, which in my opinion are some of the best Victorinox produces. They have the most often used and most practical tools, and they start from very slim and move on up to a fairly large model. First off, on the Tinker, you have your basic large blade, your small little pen blade. bottle opener, wire stripper, screwdriver, little screwdriver, can opener, Phillips head screwdriver, way more useful than a corkscrew in my opinion, and a reamer, and the little toothpick, and tweezers. Use those tweezers for extracting a lot of splinters back in the day. And as you move up the size scale, each of them basically adds one additional tool each iteration. This is the Super Tinker, the one I most often carry nowadays. It has all the tool, same tools as the Tinker, but adds a pair of scissors. And then you have the Tinker Deluxe. Oh, and also since it's one row thicker, it adds the multi-purpose hook which is a tool with really no specific function, but it does come in handy now and then. Kind of good to keep in mind that you have it around. And so the Tinker Deluxe has all the tools of the Tinker and the Super Tinker and adds a pair of pliers. They're not big heavy duty pliers like you'd find on a full size Leatherman. They're maybe about the size of the ones you'd get on a uh, Leatherman squirt maybe, but they are sufficient for uh, tightly gripping small objects. You could probably loosen uh, some fairly small nuts and bolts with them. They're quite serviceable. For me, the Tinker Deluxe starts to get a little too bulky. I don't like Swiss Army knives quite this big and heavy, but the Super Tinker, for me personally, is really in the sweet spot. It has tools I use almost all of them frequently. Really good tool selection, but it's still slim, fairly lightweight. And if you want to go even slimmer and lighter, you certainly can't go wrong with the Tinker, 
which is also a fairly cheap knife. I think it retails for about 15 bucks. So these are some Swiss Army knives I really like. And I'm going to close up this video with some macro shots of the tools and stuff. But there's a look at the Tinker family. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and you have a good rest of your day. You know, funny little side point about this tinker. Absolute first thing I did when I with it when I got it home was cut myself with it. <laughs> uh, you could sort of see my parents do a sort of face palm at that moment. I'd never had a knife this sharp. I didn't really know knives got as sharp as uh, Victorinox has come from the factory and. I ran my finger across it and instantly drew blood. Brilliant, huh? And not that long afterward, first time I've ever needed stitches, I think I was using the pen blade to shave the bark off a stick for no particular reason. And someone walked up and like said something and I got distracted and looked up, didn't stop moving the knife, and psh, opened up a little, uh, four stitches wide gash in my left index finger. I don't know if it really shows up, but the scar is still there. See the little uh, white markings there? Not a huge one, but this knife has definitely tasted my blood. <laughs> All right, bye-bye.